Romaim, Romans 3. What advantage then has the Yahudi, or what profit is there of circumcision? Much every way, chiefly because that unto them were committed the words under Yahweh, rather words under Yahweh. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the belief of Yahweh without effect? Never. Yea, let Yah be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that you might be justified in your sayings and might overcome when you are judged. But if our unrighteousness commend the righteousness of Yahweh, what shall we say? Is Yahweh unrighteous who takes vengeance? I speak as a man. Never. For then how shall Yahweh judge the world? For if the truth of Yahweh has more abounded through my lie unto his glory, why yet am I also judged as a sinner? And not rather, as we be slanderously reported, and as some affirm that we say, let us do evil that good may come, whose damnation is just. What then? Are we better than they? No, in no wise, for we have before proved both Yahudim and the other nations that they are all under sin. And, rather, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understands there is none that seeks after Elohim. They are all gone out of the way. They are together become unprofitable. There is none that does good. No, not one. Their throat is an open sepulchre. With their tongues they have used deceit. The poison of asps is of their lips, whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways. And the way of peace have they not known. There is no fear of Elohim before their eyes. Do we not know what, rather, that whatsoever the Torah says in the Torah, it speaks in order that all mouths are stopped and condemns? It does so in all the world by Yahweh. Therefore, by the works of the Torah, no flesh is justified in his sight, for by the Torah is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of Yahweh without Torah is manifested, being witnessed by the Torah and the prophets. Even the righteousness of Yahweh, which is by belief of Yahusha HaMashiach, unto all, and upon all them that believe. For there is no difference. For all have sinned, and come short of the glory of Yah, being justified freely by His grace, through the redemption that is in Yahusha HaMashiach, whom Yahweh has set forth to be a propitiation through belief in His blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of Yah. To declare, I say, at this time, his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him, which is in the belief of Yahusha HaMashiach. Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what Torah? Of works? Nay, but by the Torah of belief. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by belief without the works of the Torah. Is he the Yah of the Yahudim only? Is he not also of the other nations? Yes, of the other nations also seeing it is one Yah which shall justify the circumcision by belief 
and the uncir rather and uncircumcision through belief. Do we then make void the Torah by belief? Never. Yea, we establish the Torah 